All right, guys. So we need to talk seriously. Um, what's going on? <laughs> is is Rise like a big disappointment for everyone? Is 3.0 a big disappointment? I want to talk about that. And um, before I even get started, let me know down below. What do you feel about Rise as a whole? And what do you feel about 3.0? Were you expecting more? And, um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, for a good reason, there are a lot of people who just don't know why they feel the way they feel. And maybe I can point you in the right direction. Just maybe, but... But first, I'll, I'll get into what I think about things first, okay? So, let's discuss this. So, in terms of 3.0... To start off, right off the bat, we got All Mother Narwa, which a lot of us was thinking that maybe we'd fight a brand new monster, maybe her offspring. Does the game even explicitly say that she's pregnant or is that just something we thought, you know? Like, is that just as a hive mind? Is that just what the community thought? Or is that just a thunder sack on her belly? You know, like, what is that exactly? But yeah, we fought All Mother Narwa, which I think was a really good fight. You know, so I guess some people are still underwhelmed. I'm just like, you know, it was a good fight. I experienced it. It was it was good. And it, and it made their armor useful because it sucked before. So that's good. And then we got baby boy Valstrax. Valstrax came back and... You know, yeah, some people don't care for Valstrax. I mean, look, some people don't care for new fighters when they come to a fighting game. It's like, or returnings. People don't care for returning fighters when they come to fighting games. <clears throat> I mean, it happens. It happens. You can't please everyone, okay? Valstrax is not my favorite monster by any stretch of the mile, but it's a fun monster to fight. And then <laughs> we got this map. This, this map is so good, the Infernal Springs. It's like the new tower map. And it's been something, personally, I've been asking for for a long time in 5th gen. We got a new tower-like map. Granted, there's only two quests to do in it so far, but event quests will probably use it more, so... Which is good. And also, with 3.0, Rampage weapons, at least a lot of them, an abundance of Rampage weapons were more useful. They added layered weapons for Rampage weapons. Not for regular weapons, which is a little weird, but it, whatever. I'll take what I can get, right? So, at this point, I'll just say that, I mean, we got some pretty good content. We got Apex Zenogre. I mean, I love the Apex monsters. It's just, I want more reason to fight them. But, you know, because of my playstyle. If I really enjoy fighting monsters anyway, I'll just keep fighting them. Um, until I'm bored to death, I guess. But So yeah, it still works for me. I mean, there's still a reason to use their parts. But not enough of a reason, I guess. But it's still fun, you know? Yes, this game had potential to do a lot more. But that's where the Master Rank game comes into play. Which is going to happen. It's inevitable at this point. I'd be surprised if it didn't happen. So, yeah, I mean, if you're really bored of Rise right now, go play a different game. And I know people don't like hearing that, but look, even if you play FF14, Yoshida will tell you to play a different game. If it's if there's a down period in content, just go play something else. If you can't find anything else to occupy yourself in this game, then don't play it. And um I know it's weird to say for some people, for whatever reason, I even did this in base world. I took multiple breaks in base world because, I mean, content was very similar to this game. Now, yeah, sure, we did get a siege, you know, which was great, but how long did it take for that siege to come into play? So the first couple of months after world's initial release, you know, I got kind of bored. Now, of course, I was still fighting monsters nonstop. 
I can't tell you how many times I fought no Gigante just practicing with Charge Blade. Like, but it was fun. But when I wasn't having that much fun anymore, I played a different game. There were other games for me to play. I took breaks. Now, that was before I was like deep into content creation at the time. But with this game, yeah, content creation might keep me playing a bit longer than I usually would. Maybe. But hey, look, Stories 2 is coming out really soon. And I, I'm going to sink my teeth into Stories 2. PSO2 New Genesis is coming out. Like, literally next week. So it's like, personally, I have other games to play. And even when those games come out, I'll still play Rise. You know, I won't spend like, you know, five hours a day on it. But I'll be playing it still. Definitely. But... Yeah, I guess this game is very on par with something like Portable 3rd, you know, where, you know, past beating the game, a lot of people just don't have a reason to keep playing. And I get that. A lot of people like to chase goals in these games. It's a big part of Monster Hunter. But the end game of Monster Hunter used to just be keep playing Quest, you know, and that's what this is. Just keep playing Quest. You f make your own goals. Make your make your own goals with different weapons. Try out new weapons. Make a new character, or just stop playing. <laughs> take a break. Or I would say take a break because Monster Hunter games are really easy to come back to. So take a goddamn break. <laughs> but um, my my overall opinion on Rise, I, I think it's a great game. It's a very solid entry in this franchise, and I know for a fact that it's going to get better. If it's not going to get better with base rise, it's going to get better with G rank rise or master rank rise. Um, at this point, I'm pretty sure they're going to call it master rank. Uh, you know, Sujimoto did say that they weren't going back to G rank, but who knows? They may change their mind. I don't know, but. You know, it's going to get better. Uh, also, my cat just dropped some shit. Um, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, I think Rise is a solid entry, like I said. And I really want to know what some of you think on this subject. What do you think about 3.0? What do you think about the game as a whole? Are you disappointed by it? Uh, what's your level of disappointment exactly? And I want to know why. If you even know why yourself. I know some people don't really know why they feel the way they do. They just, it feels bad, man. And I get that, but it's like, I, I want to know. And um, I, like I said, I think, I think it's a solid entry in the series, you know? And the Master Rank game is, the game's going to get better with that. You know, if it's not going to get better with base rise, it's going to get better with the expansion. I mean, that's just how it's been. And um, it's okay to be bored of the game at this point, especially if you have like 300 hours. Or, I'm at like 500 hours and change now. So it's like, and I, I'm still having fun. But I know that's not the case for everyone. And... You know, that's, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to feel the same way as me. Or you don't have to feel like you need to force yourself to play the game. Like, it's okay. P play play another game. And, you know, and, and also with PSO2 New Genesis li literally coming out next week, more content for the channel. You know, if, if Rise is, like, getting boring for the community, there's that. But most importantly, there's stories next month. Stories 2 next month. I'm going to be covering that on the channel so much. Um, I'm going to be covering the, the story. I'm going to be making some guides. I'm going to be doing PvP. Um, we might even have a PvP tournament for both content creators and for the general community. Like, things will be popping off with, with stories too. Um, even if a lot of my friends don't care for it. But, yeah, um, I think I'm done now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um... And let me know your opinions down below.